So it's Tuesday, let's be specific. Talking about consistency, consistency has been the one of the greatest resources as it relates to my progress, consistency. I was taught long ago that a consistent jab can win a fight. I was taught long ago that every step it takes to climb a mountain every step you got it you can't skip a step and so as well as writing books i learned that the first page has got to be great that will draw folks to the first chapter or the first uh, paragraph if the first paragraph is great it'll draw folks to the first page and if the first page is great chances are they'll finish the chapter at the end of the book, if the book was great, chances are people will be looking for more. And oh my God, how can I forget Les Brown talks about the bamboo tree and how it takes five years, five years to grow that thing. You gotta water it every day. But that faith and patience drives you into action. You got to keep moving and keep plugging away. In the Far East, they have something that's called the Chinese bamboo tree. The Chinese bamboo tree takes five years to grow. And when they go through a process of growing it, they have to water and fertilize the ground where it is every day. And it doesn't break through the ground until the fifth year, okay? But once it breaks through the ground within five weeks it grows 90 feet tall now the question is does it grow 90 feet tall in five weeks or five years the answer is obvious it grows 90 feet tall in five years because at any time that person stopped watering and nurturing and fertilizing that dream that bamboo tree would have died in the ground and I can see people coming out talking to a guy out there watering and fertilizing the ground that's not showing anything. Hey, what you doing? You've been out here a long time, man. And the conversation in the neighborhood is, you growing a Chinese bamboo tree, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Well, um... Even Ray Charles and Stephen Wonder can see ain't nothing showing. <laughs> you know that's how people are gonna do you? So how long have you been working on this? How long have you been working on your dream? It's good. And you have nothing to show. This is all you got to show? People are gonna do that to you. And some people, ladies and gentlemen, they stop. Because they don't see instant results. It doesn't happen quickly. They stop. Oh no, 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 no. You got to keep on watering your dream. And when it began to happen, they stop laughing. They said, look, whoa, look, look here, it's, look, look up. Hey, man, you know, I know you could do it. Look here, you got a job here? <laughs> and that all amounts to consistency. Be consistent in what you do. Be consistent in your talents. Be consistent in your um, evolution, in your uh, progress. They say even a broke clock is right twice a day. Bless you and have a great day. When I saw, oh, uh, rappers are in danger, I'm like, okay, my son's 18, he can rap music, I'm going to get this for him. And he, we chill. It's urban stuff. I read a little of the jacket. I, I grew up with Donald Goins and Iceberg Slim and a lot of good um, inner city urban um, um, books. So, took it home. Sees up, left your surprise on the table. Saw it. Then I went back and I looked at it, started reading the jacket and inside the other books, and I was like, so I started reading, and I said, you know what? 
This kid ain't going back to college until the 19th. Let me just read some of it. So I started looking at it, looking at it. Then I said, let me take it to work with me. Took it to work with me. Then I could put it down. And then my friends are like, at work, like, yo, Don, um, you're not eating lunch? I'm like, no, leave me alone. <laughs> and they, you, go, you going on break? I said, no. They're like, yo, man, you have you been sleeping and stuff, man? You've been with that book for a few days now. And I'm like, I was like, I thought they wanted some of my stuff. I was like, hiding it. And uh, I couldn't sleep. I wasn't eating when I was going home. And I would change because I work at night, 10 to 6. I go change, see everybody. And I run to the kitchen and I take the book out. I'm like, just let me read a couple more pages and I'm going to bed. Then I read a couple more I go upstairs, I lay in bed. I'm awake. I'm thinking about Justin and Portia and Candy and Ringo and this one. Oh, the father. Oh, man. Why he put that in the rap? Why he say that about the white suit? And I'm like feeling this. And man, this brother is deep. This brother's not a bookseller. This brother's a crack dealer. Because his work is like that. It's so addictive. I'm like, damn, I need a 12-step program now. this. Ringo. Thanks for listening and check us out at RelentlessAaron.net.